Hello everybody. Today I would like to talk about collision meshes in Unreal Engine 4. To illustrate this I made this little bridge here and if you look at this bridge then it is of course uh, true that we can crawl or walk under it, we can walk between the railings but we can also, for example, shoot through the railings or being hit by a projectile in a game. Now, if I would select this front polygons here and extrude them and say, this is my collision mesh for this profile, then this is unfortunately not the case. I show you what Unreal Engine does. I unhide it something and then you see if we only take these polygons here then Unreal Engine will fill this and you can no longer go under this bridge and the same is true of course also when uh, we would use it for the railing up here it would extend it down to here and again you couldn't uh, shoot through so of course this is not the case we would have to it only covers uh, the railing but again it means you could walk between here but this would be one solid piece so we have to do this separately and I would like to show how to do this or how I do it. Okay, first I uh, copy the entire model in a new mesh and we don't need to see this for the time being and this new mesh will contain all my collisions. Okay, then let's start here. I know first I make a tube. Yes, about this size with four sides only. Then I select this edge here and this one and run Seneca Menar's quick pipe script. The link is in the description. Then we can delete what we not need here. So this part of the railing delete and we also don't need this one here. Delete then I delete this here and hide the entire bridge. So hide and then in the side view I select this here, this, this, this and delete. Then we can select these uh, edges press the P key for polygon and do the same here P key and we should have everything filled yes now I show the background so we can bring this everything in position W Bring it down a bit like so, yes. By the way, it is good when we have a small gap between collision meshes shouldn't overlap each other. So we can make this a bit wider. Select this here, action center selection, R key bring this closer a bit, do the same here, R key, like so. And our 
railing collisions are done. Okay, next I unhide everything and then I delete what I don't need. So this here, L, delete, delete this one and then control X, control V. I can delete this one as well, make this one a bit smaller, R, so we get the gap, like so. Then I select this vertex and this one, backspace delete, delete this in here, and bridge this together and add a single edge in here. Now we can duplicate mirror over X, apply and select all these meshes, shift X and I know that's two meters, minus two meters. And now we have our collision meshes finished. It is really not necessary. We could also have one down here and here and here, but you will see this is already quite a lot. Okay, now we must separate all these collision meshes into separate meshes. And for that reason, I show you how to make a macro. So I select this, then go to System, um, where is it? Record Macro here, then Control X, N for a new mesh, Control V, then right click the new mesh here, so we get into the rename dialog and now the file must uh, have the following naming UCX underscore. This stands for uh, Unreal Collision Convex, I believe. And then the name of the main mesh, which is stair underscore zero one, stair underscore zero one and then another underscore and the suffix zero, 00. Now before I continue, I copy this into the clipboard, copy, hit OK, and go back to my original mesh, this one. And now let's go to system, stop recording macro, and then uh, system store to file, not in config, otherwise we lose it when something to the config file happens. So save to file. And you see I already did it. It's called in my case export selected. Yes, I want to replace it. And now we can see if it works. So I select this here, then shift F5 to get to the uh, scripts directory, run export selected, control V, and we can rename this to stair01. And now we can even assign this macro to a key. So I press F5, and you see here this is uh, when we run our macro, so we can right click on it and map command to key. I have already done it. In my case it's Alt F1 and um, because this one is not used and now we can select this Alt F1, Control V and then Mesh 2.
Okay, now we have done all these. The original mesh we started in is uh, empty now and we can delete it or leave it there, doesn't matter. And the first thing I do is I parent everything to my main mesh. And we must see it and then I select all these child meshes and go to the UV edit tab and select the UVs and then go to edit UVs, delete UVs, go to the second one and do the same edit UVs, delete UVs. We don't need any uh, UVs for collision maps, so we delete them. We do need, of course, our texture map and the lightning map, as I explained in the last video. And now what we have to do is make sure that our center is on the bottom of the bounding box. And then we have to go to vertex map and uh, create MIC tangent space. And that's it, we're done. We can now go to, make sure it's selected, go to File, Export, As. And by the way, I think I never showed my system preferences for the FBX IO. So here you see what I have checked, save geometry, save materials, save smoothness, smoothing groups. I'm not sure if we need it, but uh, unreal complaints when we have not checked this. And most of all, save tangent basis, because we can now make it in, in modo. Okay, so again, file export as and uh, I call it, we want to Autodesk FBX 2013 and I call it test.fbx, save, that's it. And now we can go over to uh, Unreal, where is it here? and import it, so import our test, open and we can leave auto generate collisions on because when Unreal detects that we have a collision hulls included then it doesn't do its own. Then the rest is okay, import and you see we have imported our bridge and I can bring it out here and uh, assign a material so it looks a bit nicer. This one. Now let's see how this looks. That looks not bad. And most of all, we can bring this over a bit. If I play the level now, you see, I can shoot under the bridge. I can shoot through the railing here, I can walk over it and I collide with the railings when I move the player. So that's really what we wanted to do. It is an ultra smooth
way with these collisions if I let Unreal do it then it looks like this because every single step is uh, contained in the collision. We can also show the collisions and you see it's not a problem for such a small scene here but if we use Unreal to make such a collision, then it gets pretty heavy and ours is very light. So that was it for today. I hope it helped and you found it interesting. Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo and working with Unreal Engine 4. See you some other time. Bye bye.